<laughs> hmm. I see we managed to retrieve you before you came to any bodily harm. Arr. <laughs> Holy crap. <laughs> Director Cosmos, do you admit you switched the launch pads? <clears throat> huh. Arr. I admit it's true. I switched Launchpad 1 for the Space Museum. Ah. <clears throat> it is good to hear words I can believe for a change. Before you do, Your Honor, two things. First, we don't know if Mr. Terran had prior knowledge of the switch. As for Mr. Starbuck, he was unaware of his surroundings thanks to his medication. Either way, Mr. Terran would have realized the instant he stepped into the Space Museum that it had been switched with Launchpad 1. So my first question is, if the Space Museum was perfectly fine, why did Mr. Terran feel the need to put it put on such a dramatic display. As for my second question, I'd like Director T Cosmos to tell us why he switched the two launch pads to begin with. That is a good question. Er, please. I can't. I... I exercise me right to remain silent. But I will say, my hands were tied. I was only doing what I could to keep my me men from getting caught in that blast. Nurr. The director is... Terrified. He must have had one heck of a reason for not wanting to explain why. Probably not a good time to pry it out of him, huh? Excuse me, but would you mind if I picked up me stars? Without me badge of rank, I'm nothing. I don't see why not. Bailiff, help the director retrieve his stars. It appears the possibility of a culprit other than the defendant has presented itself. Mr. Starbuck, is there anything you wish to say? I don't get it. Don't get it? What don't you get? You're pretty much free of this trial! <laughs> what don't you get? Director, why did you do all that? From the very beginning, you never meant for the launch pad to go ahead, did you? Hmm. I have a little guess before I press on. Was he afraid because of Mr. Starbuck? Or was he afraid because of all the bomb threats that he was getting? Same bomb threats that were hap, hap, or the same kind of threats that he was getting in the past. You tricked us! Mr. Starbuck. Starbuck. Me boy. I'm sorry. I can't tell you the reason why. But I had to do it. To protect the Space Center. Director! Will I... Will I ever get the chance to go into space again?
Yes. Yes, of course! I won't rest until it happens! I will get you into space again, my boy. Then, the dream is still alive. Silence! <laughs> You're not going into space, Starbuck. But prison. I won't have it any other way. Why are you so hung up on him? Yes, I accept that the launch pads really were switched. Seriously? Seriously? You're going at it still? And if it were, if there were a third person at the scene, I suppose they could have escaped. But I have yet to see proof of this third person's escape via the mu space museum. Oh! That's a good point! Are you freaking kidding me? I thought it was done! I thought it was done! But... <sighs> he's right. I don't have any proof! Starbuck! You will spill everything you know! What? Me? <laughs> Where do you get those bombs? Tell me now! If you don't, my blade shall feast on your blood. I'm going to die! I want to die in space! I... I have to do something! Solomon Starbuck! Prepare yourself! <laughs> now, now, you're violent. You know, violence isn't the answer, Prosecutor Blackwell. I think we know who this is because whenever we see an electric shock, you know what that means. <laughs> nah, that annoying, cheerful laugh. It can't not be. It can be none other than. Champion of Righteousness, Bobby Fulbright here, in Justice We Trust! Ha ha ha! Detective Fulbright? Sorry to keep you waiting, Mr. Lawyer. That's Solid Snake's line. I hope I'm not too late. Ha ha ha! I don't believe we had an appointment. I tried to hurry, but I ended up helping a little old lady across the street. <laughs> and then I had to break up a cat fight. I tell ya, justice sure is a full-time job. <laughs> Was it a fight between cats? Or... <clears throat> um, why are you here again? Because... The defendant isn't the culprit, and I came to make sure that justice is served. Um... I don't have any idea what you're talking about. Fulbright? I always thought you were a bit touched in the head. But you have... But have you finally succumbed? Nope. <laughs> but it looks like you've succumbed to this phantom of yours. <laughs> Open your eyes and let the evidence of justice uncloud your just judgment. What evidence? Come to think of it, he did say something about finding us some evidence. Thanks to you two. I feel a lot better now that I've been able to get that off my chest. 
I'm going to work extra hard to find that perfect piece of evidence for you. Why do I get a bad feeling about this? When he's... After looking back at that. I didn't think he was serious, though. Why do I have a f bad feeling about this? So, what is it, Detective? Is it something that will prove Mr. Starbuck innocent? It is indeed! Have a look at this! The hell? Is that a lighter with blood stains? What's... what's this? A lighter? That's right! A lighter thought to have been used by the culprit, no less! The Space Museum's cleaning robot picked it up! Ha <laughs> ha! It has the victim Clay Terran's blood, along with his killer's fingerprints on it! What? That's way too convenient. If it has the killer's blood... Fingerprints? Order. Order! Detective Fulbright, can I assume that the, def the uh, fingerprints don't belong to the defendant? You bet! Mr. Starbuck is totally innocent! This is it! This is just what I needed! What?! The lighter found on the floor of the Space Museum. The true culprit's fingerprints are on it in the victim's... On it in the victim's blood. Your Honor! This is the size of evidence that supports the defendant's... Defense's earlier claim! Um... How... Very convenient and very suspicious because this is this is way camera 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 because that is way too convenient oh we don't have any evidence oh look here's a, some evidence explain yourself mr. Wright it has the killers fingerprints on it what's more to say and the detective says that they aren't Starbucks what's more to say with pleasure your honor recall where this lighter was found based on that we can extrapolate that after the killer murdered mr. Terran they escaped with the lighter in hand into the space museum where they dropped it <laughs> that sounds so stupid! That sounds so stupid! <laughs> the switching of the two launch pads occurred. <laughs> then finally, the killer left through the boarding lounge too and made their escape. This whole testimony sounds freaking ridiculous. Meanwhile, Mr. Starbuck was found in Boarding Lounge 1 after the murder. A fact that the director... Co a fact that Director Cosmos has testified to. Therefore, Mr. Starbuck couldn't have possibly been the one to drop the lighter there. Silence. Ah, but the defendant had free reign of the area until Director Cosmos appeared. Could he not have dropped the lighter in the Space Museum during that span of time? OBJECTION! You'd like that to be true, wouldn't you? But Director Cosmos testified that right after he saw the mysterious figure with the lighter, he went into the lounge and found the unconscious Mr. Starbuck. In other words, Mr. Starbuck wouldn't have had time, had the time to double back to the museum. No, Prosecutor Blackwell, this lighter could have only been dropped by the real killer. You know, the lighter with the killer's uh, fingerprints. <laughs> 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 
most importantly, Mr. Starbucks' fingerprints were nowhere to be found on this lighter. Only the killers! How many, mu how many times must I say? The killers' fingerprints! I think you understand what this means, don't you? This piece of evidence unequivocally proves that Mr. Starbuck wasn't the real culprit. Or wasn't the culprit. Gah! This does indeed appear to be decisive evidence that proves the defense's claims. As for the remote control switch that was found in Mr. Starbuck's pocket, like I said, the killer probably just slipped it into his pocket to frame him. We can assume it was planted by the killer on the unconscious Mr. Starbuck. No, there must be some mistake. Frankly, Prosecutor Blackwill, I've been worried about you. You've been chasing this phantom for seven whole years. I understand your urgency because tomorrow... Silence. Fulbright, you promised never to speak of that. Huh? Tomorrow? What about tomorrow? A long time ago, in a game far, far away. In the first game, there was a little rule that was explained. After seven years of, this, of a case that has been left unsolved, I think it's seven years. I'm pretty sure this is the case that he's going to be talking about. After seven years, that case gets wiped off as unsolvable and can never be gone back to. And yeah, I guess, uh, I guess Black Will, I'm guessing Black Will, uh, Black Will wants that case solved before the time goes up. Because, yeah, once the time goes up, then. Given the body of evidence. I think it's safe to say the defendant is innocent. In light of the fact that it was impossible for him to have committed the crime. A few unanswered questions remain, so I look forward to seeing what you two to what you two uncover. But for now, this court finds the defendant, Solomon Starbuck, not guilty. Party! With the confetti! Yeah! Yeah! Ha <laughs> ha! Woo! Um. You don't look very happy. Yes! We did it, Mr. Wright! Looks like we pulled it off somehow, huh? With some help from Detective Fulbright that had some evidence that came up out of freaking nowhere. Seriously? Wait. Why do I feel like this day is not over? I just got that sudden urge that this day is not over because... Why was I given... This evidence just out of nowhere to not even use it? I'm... Uh, well, I mean, I used it like... Phoenix used it, but I didn't actually use it or anything. Mr. Wright... Miss Sykes, thank you. Please thank Apollo for me, too. You all are the best. Oh, I wish I could. we could tell Apollo about Mr. Starbucks' verdict right now. Yeah, me too. But that's going to have to wait. Now that a verdict has been reached, I'd like to bring today's trial to a close. Court! Is adjourned. Something tells me a hold that's about to be said. Objection. Oh! 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 Oh my god! Who called it? <laughs> it's too late to object, isn't it? It simply isn't possible. Something's wrong. 
That's what I've been saying. I've been having some strange feelings. I mean, a freaking obvious evidence that just comes out of nowhere. I mean, it makes me wonder. It makes me feel like they're... I'm not trying to pin the point, pinpoint at uh, Fulbright, but it feels like the evidence feels... It, it just feels forged for some reason or something. i am just got a bad taste on my... I just got a bad taste in my mouth. Prosecutor Blackwell? Are you dissatisfied with the verdict? Fulbright! What were the results on the fingerprint analysis for the lighter? Huh? The results? <laughs> uh, well, I was in a hurry, you see. And then there was that cat fight. And, well, uh... <laughs> I kind of got carried away when I heard the prints weren't Mr. Starbucks, so... <sighs> you have yet to read it? Prosecutor Blackwell, can you read out who the prints belong to? That's what I've been wanting to know. <laughs> Upon thorough analysis, the fingerprints... What? 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 Huh? What? O order! Order, I say! Order! Miss Sykes, tell me you have an explanation for this! We just finished proving that this lighter could only belong to the killer! So finding your prints on it can only lead us to one grave conclusion! I don't know how they got on there, but I know I'm not the culprit! This can't be happening! we built up our argument piece by piece, and I don't think any of our reasoning was faulty. So how could it lead to this? Oh my god. Gah! What have I done? Please forgive me, I'm sorry! Order, order! Detective Fulbright, stop your crying! What in the world is happening here? It's like the world's gone mad! Order, order! I will have order in this court! Confusion spiraled, spiraled into utter chaos. After all, we'd fought for it. the truth had turned cruelly on us to accuse Athena of the crimes. Somewhere, somehow, everything had gone terribly wrong. We had stumbled over the edge of reason and into the jaws of a twisted darkness. That was the end? I find a lighter that somehow, that somehow 
conveniently comes up, and it conveniently happens to be Athena's fingerprints, and then it just ends? It's like as bad as a cliffhanger as freaking one of my episodes. <laughs> um, yeah. So, um, yeah, that, that, that was the end of the episode. Yep. Nope. You all enjoyed, and I wonder if you're as confused as I am a little bit, uh, yeah. Yeah.